Hey guys, great to see you. My name is John Sandoval. Today we're going to be talking about creating rock and funk guitar riffs. This is probably one of my very favorite things to do. I love songwriting, I love jamming with the band, and there's nothing like creating uh, a riff, a nice fat funk and rock riff that was gonna fit great with the groove, with the band. The nice thing about creating a riff is that it's less about the technical part and more about the creativity and the soul part of the riff. As always, we're gonna keep it fun and practical. So today, let's hang out with our F-sharp minor chord and also our F sharp minor pentatonic scale. Nowadays, you're gonna find riffs in pretty much every single genre, rock, funk, hip hop, blues, pop. So it's really gonna be about your approach and what kind of sound you're going for. Today I'm gonna be playing my Santo Telly. Uh, I have P90s on it, and I'm gonna be using my bridge pickup. Let's start with the lower notes of the scale. And I'm going to hang out on the last two notes, which is the flat seven and the root. Now that alone could be a cool riff. You've probably heard this millions of times. Now here's the thing about riffs is that, again, it's less about the technicality part and it's more about, in my opinion, it's all about the soul part of it and uh, how you deliver it. The language, the phrasing, the, uh, the aggression, okay? And what I mean by aggression is, you can play these notes, okay, or you can do more like, now I'm doing a lot of different things here, I'm doing some vibrato at the end. What I'm also doing with my right hand, I'm actually strumming all the strings. The sound is really going to happen on the left hand. I'm going to be muting most of the strings, and I just want that note to come out. You can already tell by doing this, it's got that aggression, it's got that oomph. Special in the genres of rock and funk, you're going to hear a lot of that. you could do something like this. So we started with these notes. Let's add the lower notes of the pentatonic scale. So now we have... So let's apply the same thing, but with the lower notes. Let's try that with the groove. You can already tell by adding a backbeat, by adding that groove, it's already taken shape. Another extremely important part of creating a riff is the rhythm, the syncopation. So in that previous example, I was just kind of playing along with it. If you notice my left hand, This is the sound, this is what's giving it that attitude. My right hand. Back. Almost 
almost like those 16s kind of swung. I completely understand I'm throwing a lot to you right now, but the more you do it, you'll understand that, you know, riffs are not just necessarily notes, but again, I'll keep saying this, it's the aggression, it's the soul behind it, it's the language, it's the phrasing, uh, the attitude, especially in the, in the rock and funk genres. Another riff idea, let's add another string. So we've done this, we did the low one. Now let's add the string on top, the G string. So now we have four notes. You can already tell just by hearing the notes, there's something cool in there. by adding the blue note. You can already tell it's a little bluesier by adding that note. Let's try that with the groove. Now since we kind of added the blue note, I think it would be fair to say, why don't we play this over a shuffle? Over something you would do on a 12 bar blues, but not necessarily your straight ahead. But adding more like a riff, you know, almost like a funk blues vibe to it. Since we added the blue note up here, I think it would be fair since we're talking more about riffs, let's play it an octave lower so it would be here. So here's the blue note that we just played higher. Here's lower. So I'm actually using that open A string. You can do a pull off or you can actually play it. I mean, that can be a lick of its own. So let's try one more idea, adding that blue note and also including all the notes that we've done so far. It's actually a little bit darker. It's got that almost like that Black Sabbath kind of meets, you know, Metallica kind of a riff. And what I am adding at the bottom of that is the open E that will resolve to the F sharp. So here's the riff, slow down. That low note. 
Everything is based on the minor pentatonic scale, minor blues scale. Out of all these examples I showed you, you can create tons out of those. So go ahead and create. Have fun. Again, my name is John Sandoval. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this, please share the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like, ring the bell, you know, all the good YouTube stuff. I would love to hear from you though. If you have ideas for future videos, leave a comment below. Guys, thank you so much. See you soon. Hey, before I go, I actually want to show you a riff that I wrote for my band. This song is called Runaway. It's in C sharp minor, but what I did was the low E string, I just dropped it down to C sharp. And by using the minor pentatonic scale, the same scale that we just used, but in F sharp minor, I created this riff. I'll play it slow. something like this. Don't let it stay Gotta push away